the waqf decides in its wisdom that a property is waqf property it then serves a notice to the encroacher subsequently it takes the matter to the waqf tribunal headed by all muslims and the tribunal decides on the nature of the said property and orders eviction waqf can lay claim to and recover any property it wishes to without having to worry about the passage of time it has through its overarching board its own legislature through its surveyors and estate and compliance officers its own executive and through its tribunal its own judiciary and through this act through its application a message is sent to every citizen of this country we are a special people and that message is all pervasive and uncompromising and it is this message that allows muslims to claim that the gyan vyapi mosque built atop the grand, grand kashi vishwanath temple is on waqf land to claim that the 1500 year old iconic manindya vali chandrashekara swami temple in tamil nadu is on waqf land i ask you how can a 15 year old 1500 year old hindu temple be adjudged by waqf to be on islamic land when islam is only 1300 years old